Okay, here is a, a Metro 716 a DMS Titrino coming with 730 sample changer and a 12 position sample rack which are all marked from 1 through 12 with a red arrow showing the position number 1 and also it comes with a 20 milliliter exchange unit and uh, exchange unit comes with the with the bottle one liter bottle and the desiccant when the desiccant is fresh it will be blue color and when it absorbs moisture the color change to pink so you can um, heat the desiccant to bring the color back or just put new desiccant it also comes with a pH electrode and the pH electrode is stored in potassium chloride storage solution and the electrode goes inside the solution and it stays in the back in the exchange unit and uh, it comes with a 730 SC controller which controls the sample changer where all the parameters can be adjusted and change uh, to, to operate the the 730 um, sample changer however you do not need to use the controller as everything will be controlled by the software that I will show shortly but if you still need to change some parameters for that the controller is there and then the 716 DMS Titrino keypad that comes with the 716 Titrino everything is fully operational it also comes with a CD and the CD includes all the manuals, all the tutorials and the applications for the 716 and the 730 sample changer as well as this video will be included in the, 7 th in the, in the CD. Also it comes with an H-Port converter box which converts the RS-232 cable to USB and the H-Port is connected to the computer. It comes with the Dell Latitude D620 computer which has the software installed in it. It also has the driver for the H port. So all the drivers are installed so H port will operate. And in the back you have all the connections. So when you set up you can connect them. For example if I start from the 730 sample changer. First you have the cable for the SC controller. Then you have the RS-232 cable on the back, these are all marked and this RS-232 cable going from the 730 sample changer to the port number 2 of the H port box then you have the starter, this is the main starter connected to the tower and that starter goes to the starter number 1 that's the starter 1 in the 730 then this is the power cord for the 730, these are all marked then the power cord for the 716 Titrino this is the cable going from 716 to 730 the remote cable this goes from the B remote port B of the 716 to the remote, con remote control port of the 730 they both are six, uh, 25 pin RS-232 cable 25 pin cable male to male then you have the RS-232 cable which is 25 pin male to 9 pin female cable that goes from RS-232 that goes from port number A of RS-232 of 716 to the port number 1 of H port so that's how these cables are all connected and these cables are all marked so in case uh, you, you know if you have confusion the marking will show you which cable goes where so this is how the whole setup is connected and everything is controlled by the Workshell version 4.2 software the Brinkman Workshell software the software is already installed in the PC so I'm going to show quickly a titration how you do there are so many methods included in the software but I just picked up a simple acid based titration and to show how to automatically do acid bed titration you have 12 sample 
but he put about up to 10 samples, up to 11 samples and the position number 12 is for distilled water to, kill, to clean the electrode and to clean the burette. That's why the position number 12 is, but from 1 to 11 you can do up to 11 samples, titration one after other automatically. So to start the titration you make sure that your burette tip is inside, your starter should always be inside, you don't take the starter out, your burette tip is inside and then you bring the electrode this is the pH electrode I'm showing the pH electrode will also come with the set I'm showing the simple acid based titration you bring the pH electrode inside and make sure that the tip of the pH electrode is not touching the stutter so there is a gap between them and then when everything is ready you can put multiple samples I just showing two samples and then the distilled water in the position 12 so it will start the titration in sample 1 then it will go to the position 12 to clean the burette, the burette and the electrode and then it will go to position 2 and so on and so forth so to start the titration here is the PC here you have some softwares but the soft and then I gave some Adobe PDF file of 716 different applications of 716 then there is these are also on the CD 730 sample changer the the uh, manual of 730 sample changer and then also comes with a short tutorial and a short introduction of 730 sample changer so all the manuals and tutorials are included in the CD as well as in the computer so to start a titration you go to Brinkman Titrino Workshell the software user is manager all capital M-A-N-A-G-E-R no password so ok so once the Titrino uh, the Workshell main menu opens in the main menu you will have two icons 716 icon if you click that it shows the uh, the method I just install the Titrino NaOH method to show the acid based titration and if you click the 730 716 it will show you how you can operate the 730 716 for example here is the home position here is the shift position here is the work position if you press the shift position the head goes down to the middle if you then uh, click to the home position again it goes back to the top so that's how you can operate the 730 sample changer but I'm going to show you a macro so you don't have to worry about all the operation you just insert your sample ID and sample information and it will do automatically the titration and then you can use the same macro for any method you like so the methods are all here if you go user view and the view if you go to macro and in that macro you open and here shows 730 716 that's the main macro that will have that has all the commands to do the automated tritation so make sure that method that file 730 716 is there under the macro folder which will do the entire automation then if you go to the method you don't have to change anything in the macro then you go to the methods under method if you open it you have all different methods if you go to 716 metrom will provide metrom provides all these methods so you can use any method of titration you like based on your application here i'm using the titrer naoh method to do the acid based titration that method is already included in the macro to show you that if you go to back to again macro view macro open the macro go to 730 716 it shows you all the commands that titration will follow there are 60, 26 lines of commands here you see line number 14 it shows the download the method here you can change your method I have titrino titrer naoh method if you double click that 
and you will see all the methods here. Any other method, chloride and other methods are all there. Starter and everything is there, so don't change anything here except when you want to do your different methods of titration. That's what the method is. So the macro knows which method to use and that's where you change the method depending on your application under line 14. So now to start a titration, I have two samples and the distilled water to clean in the position 12. And my Titrino DMS 716 is already open. The switch is on the back. So if you turn the switch, it turns on. Sometimes, once in a while, you may see an error 39 message, which means the memory is full. All you have to do if you see error 39, just turn off and turn on again. Then the system test will go through system test and then it will come to dead pH or whatever method you ran last time. So to do the titration, you go to view, you go to work list, and in the work list you enter different sample information, like to start the first row, you make sure that you have chosen your 730, 716 macro, that's the macro that you will be using, and then you enter the sample, like sample size, if you have one gram of sample, just type one whatever gram of sample or whatever volume of sample you are adding then I'm running two blank here so say blank one I have two samples and then you can give more ID whatever ID you want you don't need to put anything under sub macro then you click this blue rectangular button again to add another row blank two so on and so forth that's how if number of samples whatever you have you add the number of rows and once once you enter all the sample IDs all you do is just click this green arrow which say run the selected macro once you click that the titration will start you can move this screen you can open the macro screen and the macro screen will show how the steps are following and you can open the 716 screen where the titration plot will be shown. So now you can see the titration started. It will go through step by step. And make sure your electrode is inside, your burette is inside, your starter is already inside. Everything is ready. So it's following the steps of the macro. I'm using sodium hydroxide as my titrant here and I have hydrochloric acid as the sample. So now the tower goes down to the watt position and as soon as it goes down the starter will start. The starter started and it started the titration. And you see the plot here when the titration started. To expand, you can always expand to see the titration. When the equivalence point will reach, the titration will stop and the results will be displayed. You 
you can expand this And you can see the piston in the exchange unit is going in increments for the increment of titrant coming and when it goes all the way to the top then it fills the cylinder again and start dosing again. Now it's filling the cylinder of the exchange unit again with titrant. After it fills the whole inner cylinder, it starts dosing again. And when it comes close to the end point, it slows down. Here you can see the curve is changing slowly. There is changing the slope. And when the end point comes, it shows as a circle. It should be somewhere here, the steepest point in the slope. It will give a circle pretty soon. It already used about 40 milliliter of sodium hydroxide. X axis shows the amount of titrant added, 40 milliliter of sodium hydroxide. Y axis shows the pH. Here the car is getting really steep, so end point is approaching. And that's why it slows down when the end point approaches. Pretty soon the equivalent point will be shown with a circle.
and now it gives the cycle to show what the equivalent point is as soon as the equivalent point is found here it's instructed to stop the titration after the first equivalent point and it will give a result in this page where the titration was done it gives the result it gives all, all result of the titration volume of titrant added the pH at the equivalent point and once the titration is done then the electrode and the burette will go up it will go to the position number 12 and in position number 12 the starter will run for 10 seconds you can add just how long you want the starter to run in the macro so it goes to the cleaning and it will clean the electrode and the burette then it will go to position number 2 and the starter starts starter will run for 5 seconds. You can continue the starter by adjusting the the parameter number 2 here under starter on. We set up for 5 seconds so starter run 5 seconds. You can make it if you remove that completely parameter 2 then the starter will run continuously. We set it up for 5 seconds so the starter run for 5 seconds. And then now it's going to start the titration for the second sample. It already started. So the point started appearing in the plot. This 730 SC controller that comes with the 730, it has a broken part on the back and we covered it with a tape, but the controller is fully operational, just handle it with care. There was a small broken part here, but it works perfectly fine. It controls the 730, it changes the parameter. If you ever need to do that, for most titration purposes after you set up you do not need the keypad and the controller everything is controlled by the software everything as i'm showing the titrino workshell will control the entire titration process all you need to do is change the method based on your application under the method section of the macro as i showed here in this macro where it says download line number 14 that's where you insert the method that you want to use and then you don't have to worry about any other parameters the starter as I said you can make the starter you can remove the 5 seconds you can remove the 10 seconds if you want the starter to run continuously otherwise um, you can give some uh, number that long uh, uh, time uh, in seconds the starter will run and the parameter 3 so the speed of the starter how fast you want the starter it goes from 6 to 15 and we kept someone in the middle value so that's the parameter I recommend not to mess with this parameter uh, and that's how the whole automation works it's saved under the macro folder of 730.715 and once the sample 2 is done this sample table the walk list manager screen is empty since I had only two samples
this Dell Latitude software comes with Windows XP Professional operating system, Windows XP Professional and it has the Metrome software is under my computer C drive Labware, under the Labware folder you have the Titrino that's where all the folders for the software is installed Here it found the steep attrition curve, so it's going to it's slow down already because it's approaching the equivalent point. It also comes with 12 beakers. These are Cole Palmer beakers, 250 milliliter beakers. They fit perfectly in the sample rack. And the depth, how far the tower goes down is adjusted in the macro section so that it doesn't hit the beaker when it goes down. It found the equivalent point and showed the circle. So now the tower will go up and go to the cleaning solution, cleaning position at, at position 12. Here the result displayed. It goes to position 12. Then it goes to position 3, thinking the third sample, but it knows there is no sample since we already inserted two, two samples there. It stops there and then it goes back to home position and end the automation. Now it goes back to home position and when the titration is done, you take the pH electrode out and keep it in the storage solution. To see the results, you can uh, print out the result in PDF form. You just go to view, results, and these are the two titration we just did. Once you click the titration, it shows you the titration plot and it shows you the results. To print it, all you do is go to print and you say carb only graph to print carb only and then it's going to print the titration plot here it is it prints the titration plot and the results which you can save in your folder for each sample you will have the list of samples and the titration plot print, carb only and you get the result. You can also if you install PDF you can also save it as a PDF file instead of Microsoft. It's going to OneNote in Microsoft. 
So this is how you do the titration and when you are done you close all the screens and keep this main menu bar open unless you totally want to close the software. So this is how you do the titration. Again it comes with 716 DMS titrino, 730 sample changer, the 12 position rack, 12 coal parma 250 milliliter beaker, 722 starter, buret exchange unit 20 milliliter, pH electrode, SC controller for the 730, the keypad, the CD with all the manuals and applications, the H port which connects the two devices to the PC. Both are connected to the H port and then the USB port going to the PC. It comes with the Latitude soft, uh, PC with Windows XP Pro installed and the Brinkman virtual software installed to run the titration. Thank you.